Welcome to the second installment of my SDL video tutorials. In the last installment, we discussed how to initialize and uninitialize SDL, and we set up an application class for future use. In this tutorial, we're going to make a window class and uh, actually create a window. So what you should do is first add a file to your project, window.h. So for our window class, we're going to have a number of different data. The first four being the width, height, bits per pixel, and flags, which will describe the window. The fifth is an SDL surface, which is going to be the window itself. And the last piece of data is a string that's going to represent the title of the window. So going down to functions, we have a standard constructor and destructor, accessors, which are getters and not setters. Uh, and then the last two are actually going to be like setters. We have set title and in it. So now that we have our window header file finished, we're going to want to add another file, window.cpp. So in the constructor, we just want to initialize all of our variables. Uh, the only thing that's really different is the title, which we initialize to SDL app. The reason I initialize it to SDL app is because if you don't supply your window with a title, it'll be SDL app by default. Everything else should just be set to zero. So getting past the accessors and getting to the real points of interest, our first function that we're interested in is set title. So what this does is you'll pass in a title, we'll assign the title that we pass in to the title held in our window class. The function we use to actually take that title and put it onto your window is SDLWM set caption. It takes two parameters, the first being the title and the second being a string to describe the icon. Right now we're not concerned with an icon, so we'll just set that to null. If you check the uh, SDL documentation, you'll notice there's a window management uh, functions. And that's what the WM stands for. You have set caption, get caption, set icon, iconify window, toggle full screen, and grab input. So you can use all those uh, to manage the window. Right now, the only one we're concerned with is set caption. So now the second and last window function that we're interested in is the initialization function. So we're going to pass in a width, height, bits per pixel, and flags. So we're going to assign all those values here, then we're going to actually create the window. You create a window using the function SDL set video mode. So you're going to pass in a width, height, bits per pixel, and flags. With the flags, you can pass in a single flag or combination of flags. The flags are going to describe a number of different things. You can dictate whether you're using double buffering or not, whether it's a software surface or hardware surface, whether you're using OpenGL, and other things such as if it's full screen or not. So when we create it, we're going to check to see if it's null. SDL set video mode is going to return an SDL surface, which we're going to assign to the value of M window. What an SDL surface is, is just really an image. We can apply SDL services to other surfaces, and that's why our window is a surface. So we can hold images in an SDL surface and then apply them onto our window. Uh, there's a technique called double, double buffering, which I mentioned quickly in the flags. What double buffering is, is something that's used to prevent tearing you basically instead of applying everything to your main screen you're gonna apply things to a back buffer and then it's gonna after everything's done drawing everything's going to switch to the main screen what this does is prevent you from seeing things that are halfway drawn so you're not seeing it while it's being drawn and that's a good technique to use uh, we won't be using it in this one but we may in future tutorials so if SDL set video mode returns null that means it failed. It will try to make a window with the parameters you give it or try to emulate it. If it can't get anything close then it's just going to return null. And if it returns null we want to return false in this function otherwise we're going to return true. Now that we have our window class all ready and created we want to open up our application.h and application.cpp files. So in our application.h we want to actually make a window so we'll do window m window. 
All right. So now that we actually have a window, we need to go initialize it in an application.cpp file. So in the application.cpp, go down to the initialization function and add these lines. The first line is initializing the window and checking to make sure everything was fine. The parameters we're going to pass in are 640 for the width, 480 for the height, 32 for the bits per pixel, and SDL SW surface for the flags. This just says that the surface should be created in software. If you want to create it in hardware, you could replace the S right here with a uh, H, so like so. But we just want a software service for now. We may use hardware services later for double buffering. But if this function does not return true, we want to return false to indicate that something went wrong, so then the program ends. We also want to set the title. I'm setting it to SDL Video Tutorial with an exclamation point, but you can set it to whatever you'd like. That's all the changes we need to make in the initialization function, but we need to make one more change down in our run function. Because right now, what will happen is it's just going to end instantly because we haven't done anything to stop it. So we'll, just for now, we're going to use a function called SDL Delay. What SDL Delay does is take in a number of milliseconds which I've set to 5000 and it'll pause for that long so during this time nothing's going to happen basically it's not even really going to use the CPU at all uh, this will be useful later on when we want to cap frame rates but for now we're just going to use it just so we can see our window so now that we have it all set up you should save and build if you have no errors, we can now run it. So now if you run this, you should find that a window comes up that says SDL Video Tutorial, or whatever you set the title to. After five seconds, it should close on its own. Congratulations, you've now made an SDL application that has a window.